Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday. It is uh, June 26th, and we're celebrating today uh, the 13th Sunday, the ordinary time. So friends, uh, <clears throat> let us begin our morning prayer uh, with the invitatory. Also, bear with me as I flip through a couple of pages. All right. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, <clears throat> bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. O Christ, you are the light and day, which drives away the night. The ever-shining Son of God, and pledge of future light. As now the evening shadows fall, please grant us, Lord, we pray, a quiet night to rest in you until the break of day. Remember us, poor mortal men, we humbly ask, O Lord, and may your presence in our souls be now our great reward. As morning breaks, I look to you, O God, to be my strength this day. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, and our work give you honor and our voices celebrate you forever. <clears throat> As morning breaks, I look to you, O God, to be my strength this day. Alleluia. From the midst of the flames, the three young men cried out with one voice, Blessed be God. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. 
All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. From the midst of the flames, the three young men cried out with one voice, Blessed be God. Alleluia. Let the people of Zion rejoice in their king. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. Let the people of Zion rejoice in their King. Alleluia. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Revelation. Salvation is from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. Praise and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving and honor, power and might to our God forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Jesus, turning, saw the woman and said, Take courage, daughter. Your faith has saved you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus, turning, saw the woman and said, Take courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. Alleluia. Christ is the sun that never sets, the true light that shines on every man. Let us call out to him in praise. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. Creator of the stars, we thank you for your gift, the first rays of the dawn, and we commemorate your resurrection. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. May your Holy Spirit teach us to do your will today, and may your wisdom guide us always. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. Each Sunday, give us the joy of gathering as your people around the table of your body and around the table of your word and your body. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. From our hearts, we thank you for your countless blessings. Lord, you are our life and our salvation. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? As we call to mind our prayers, as we call to mind our petitions, as we, we call to mind too then all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we have promised to pray for, lifting them up before the Lord now. And with the words of Jesus Christ, we offer all of our prayers to the Father, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you call your children to walk in the light of Christ. Free us from darkness and keep us in the radiance of your truth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us joining together each morning, praying this, the prayer of the church, praying with the church, but praying on behalf of the church and praying for all of her members too. Um, I hope that you have yourself uh, just a relaxing, wonderful Sunday uh, in your plans today. Um, it, just looking outside, I haven't checked uh, anything official, but uh, just looking outside, I'm not sure that the weather is going to fully cooperate, but it seems like it might be a nice day uh, to stay inside with a bowl of soup. Because, um, yeah, it's looking a little bit rainy and foggy out. Friends, uh, regardless of the weather, let the love of Christ simply descend uh, into your hearts so that you can have his joy. So whether you're out and about today, whether you're staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, remember to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.